Hey guys, what's going on? James here. And in this video today, we're going to be talking about should the Tampa Bay Buccaneers re-sign quarterback Ryan Griffin to a contract. And this one is such an interesting situation because last year, Ryan Griffin was the backup quarterback because Blaine Gabbert, as I said in the previous video when talking about Blaine Gabbert, he hurt his shoulder. He couldn't be the backup quarterback for the 2019 season. Ryan Griffin was the backup quarterback. And overall, he did a very good job. And just from the two players that I've interviewed here on this YouTube channel, John Mulshan and Jadon Mickens, they're both fans of Ryan Griffin. They feel that he is a good quarterback. There are plenty of fans in the Buccaneers fan base community who are fans of Ryan Griffin. I'm a fan of Ryan Griffin. I want to see him succeed in the NFL. But right now as it stands, he's been the third string quarterback for many years on this football team. And the Buccaneers keep on bringing him back. They say, come on, Ryan, come on back. You can keep on being that third guy. You can work with the practice squad. We can have you there if we need you. But there has just never been an opportunity for Ryan Griffin to show what he can do. I mean, he's been the third string quarterback. He hasn't even been the backup. And it's led me now, and I, I said this last year, and I was, or it was two years ago, I believe, and I was wrong at that point, but it's led me to believe that I think that Ryan Griffin might go into free agency, and he might go see what other options are out there for him. I, I don't know if Ryan Griffin would be competing for a starting quarterback job, but I would think that Ryan Griffin could be a very capable backup quarterback for a lot of teams around this league. I can think of many teams that would very much like to have Ryan Griffin as their backup quarterback. So that is definitely something to consider. Does Ryan Griffin feel that he could have a better opportunity elsewhere? And he might. That's definitely something that needs to be considered. In terms of price range, I don't think that he would cost a ton of money to be brought back to this team. But also the Buccaneers have to consider the future. You know, do they want to bring in a young guy to be that third string quarterback instead of Ryan Griffin? They had Josh Rosen. What would have happened if Josh Rosen would have stayed throughout the entire season with the Buccaneers and gone into the offseason as that fourth uh, quarterback? Would he have taken Ryan Griffin's spot as that third quarterback? And then it would have been Tom Brady, Blaine Gabbert, and Josh Rosen as the young developmental guy. That's something to consider, and I think a lot of people have thought that, yeah, that's probably what, have, what would have ended up happening if Josh Rosen would have stayed on this team. Now, as I said in the previous video, he went to the San Francisco 49ers. He's not an option anymore, but that definitely shows that the Buccaneers are considering, hey, we should probably have a young guy who we have confidence in, in place, who is able to work and learn behind guys like Blaine Gabbert, like Tom Brady, and, you know, maybe there could be a situation where Ryan Griffin comes back as the third quarterback, the Buccaneers have a practice squad quarterback, and then that quarterback is learning from all three of those guys, but, you know, that seems unlikely to me. I feel like what might happen is Ryan Griffin might go into free agency, he might go, you know, finally be a number two quarterback full-time for a different team, the Buccaneers bring in a young developmental guy as that third quarterback. Who would that young developmental guy be? I have no idea. There are a lot of young quarterbacks in free agency who have, you know, very little playing time and could make some type of impact as a third quarterback who could still be developed. Um, you also have the NFL draft. I wouldn't expect them to invest an insane draft pick, maybe a sixth or a seventh rounder, a sixth rounder at best. Um, but overall, I think they are going to go out there and try and get a younger guy to put in that third quarterback spot to learn behind Tom Brady and learn behind Blaine Gabbert. So with that being said, guys, it is with a heavy heart that I come to the conclusion that I don't think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers should or will re-sign Ryan Griffin to a contract. I feel that if they can get a younger guy in there... Um, that may be the best, you know, case scenario for the Buccaneers. And ultimately, I think it may be in the best case scenario for Ryan Griffin to go out and try and see if he can, you know, finally get a number two quarterback job somewhere else. Those are just my thoughts on that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave me your thoughts about the entire Ryan Griffin situation down in the comment section below. Do you feel the Tampa Bay Buccaneers should or should not re-sign him? And give me reasons as to whichever conclusion you come to down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.